Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Rupas Nadhana from International Management Institute, New Delhi, and I am here to present my research work on sustainability leadership and employee sustainability behavior, the parallel mediating effects of sustainability orientation and employee engagement. This would be the outline of my presentation for today. So we all have been talking about sustainable development. But when this concept of sustainable development is translated at the organizational level, then we call it corporate sustainability. So corporate sustainability has been defined as meeting the needs of the firm's direct and indirect stakeholders without compromising its ability to meet the needs of the future stakeholders as well. But if we deep dive into the literature, we see that the intertwinement of corporate sustainability with the human resource practices remains missing. Employees who are the center of any organization because they are the ones who are dealing with the stakeholders on a daily basis, they have to be placed at the center of sustainability, but their indoor dispositions, their behavioral manifestations to contribute towards sustainability is still unexplored. So there is a call in the literature for a human-centered approach to achieving sustainable development goals that highlight the need for realigning the human resource practices with sustainability. So my research paper talks about four variables. The first variable talks about sustainability leadership. So what is sustainability leadership? It is the leadership that meets the needs of the present day without compromising the ability of future generations to prosper. Who is a sustainable leader? Sustainable leader can be anyone who can drive sustainable change, regardless of role or position, and can engage others to contribute meaningfully. But again, looking at the literature and I have cited some recent papers. It says that sustainability leadership is at a very nascent stage. It's a concept which is weakly developed and very marginalized topic. Leadership processes and sustainability have been approached in a fragmented manner, and this needs further investigation. The second variable is employee sustainability behavior, which is the pro-social and the pro-environmental behavior adopted by the employees for corporate change for sustainability. But looking at the literature again, citing some recent papers, it says that specific employee behaviors have not been linked to corporate sustainability. It needs further exploration. And there is a very limited research on what are the factors at the organizational level that shape this behavior in employees towards sustainability. The third variable is sustainable orientation. It is the company's enduring dedication to incorporating social and environmental considerations into its decision-making process. This concept of sustainable orientation is not unified. Some talk it at the level of organization and some talk about it at the level of individual. So operationalization of sustainable orientation at the business level still remains fragmented and this needs investigation at the organizational settings. The last variable is employee engagement. Now, employee engagement is defined with three dimensions. Psychological meaningfulness, which means that the employees find meaning in their work. Psychological safety, which means that they do not fear any failure. They can be themselves in their organization. And psychological availability. They have all the necessary resources which makes them being available at work to contribute towards organizational effectiveness. Now, the concept of employee engagement came in the year 1990, and it has been more than three decades. So a lot of researchers have extensively used employee engagement, but its relationship with corporate sustainability needs to be explored. So my research paper has the theoretical underpinning based on sustained centricism theory. This theory was given in the year 1995 by Gladwin, and it was revamped by uh, Valente in the year 2012. 
So this theory talks about how firms can make a transition towards value creation by undergoing a shift in the organizational culture. Organizational transformation towards the goal of sustainable future can be achieved with leadership, which involves bringing people together towards a sense of purpose, empowering them, and influencing their behavior for sustainability. It also befits the corollary of moral responsibility theory, which postulates that sustainability is the moral belief and moral responsibility of the employees. This is the conceptual model. So sustainability leadership is the independent variable and employee sustainability behavior is the dependent variable. Employee engagement and sustainability orientation are the parallel mediators in this conceptual model. There are six hypotheses in this research paper. Hypothesis one talks about how employees' perception about sustainability leadership is positively related to employee sustainability behaviors. Second hypothesis is about how leadership is positively related to employee engagement. Third talks about the relationship between sustainability leadership with sustainable orientation of employees. Fourth hypothesis is employee engagement is positively related to employee sustainability behavior and how sustainable orientation is positively related to employee sustainability behavior. Hypothesis 6A and 6B talk about the mediating role of employee engagement and sustainability orientation respectively on the relationship between sustainability leadership and employee sustainability behavior. Coming to the methodology, so a 34 item questionnaire was used. Now I've adapted the scales that are given in the table and I've uh, reached to the employees of four sustainable companies in India. These companies have a lifespan of more than 60 years and are effectively working towards sustainable development. So 347 was the sample size. And based on the data descriptive analysis, it was seen that the Cronbach alpha value, which shows reliability, was greater than 0.8 for all the four variables. The first two columns uh, give you the information about the descriptive analysis. The correlations are giving. And then the construct validity values also, that is the composite reliability, AVE and MSV values are given. So all of them were falling as per the threshold limits. As you can see, the correlations between sustainability leadership and employee engagement was 0.417 and all of them were significant. Talking about the direct effects, so the data was analyzed using maximum likelihood method using the structural equation model in the software AMOS. And the analysis revealed that all the structural path estimates were significant and in the expected direction. So the table shows the standardized regression weights and the t-value and the significance level. So all the first five hypotheses, they were supported. And then the mediated effects were also checked. The parallel mediation model was examined using AMOS. A two-step process was followed using bootstrapping. So firstly, the conceptual model was tested without the mediators and a direct effect was checked, which was coming out to be significant. And then the mediators, that is sustainability orientation and employee engagement were incorporated. The indirect effects were also significant and the direct effect was also significant. So this showed that sustainable orientation definitely. and employee mm -hmm. engagement had were parallel mediators. Coming to the discussion, so this study provides the empirical evidences and it shifts the focus from the top management to the employees, asserting that sustainability vision and associated values must, must flow from the leadership to the employees. It enriches the sustained centricism theory that says that sustainability is a way of life and enables the network of actors to comply with the sustainability agenda. It adds to the literature on all the four variables. <clears throat> Talking about the managerial implications, managers should prioritize communicating sustainability vision and values from top leadership to employees. Training and education is crucial and it's very important <coughs> Excuse me, that employee engagement 
and sustainable orientation should be driving sustainability behavior. It must work in conjunction for fostering a sustainable organization culture. Limitations, my last slide. This is a cross-sectional study. So it hinders the ability to infer causality of behavior <laughs> over time. So longitudinal studies can be conducted and it uses self-reported measures. So in future, objective models, measures can be used. Some of my references can be checked here. And thank you so much for your patient listening. I am open for any questions you have.